Cadets and welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to be looking at shading. So all you'll need is a piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. Let's go! So the first thing that's important when you're shading is to use the side of your pencil. This bit here. Okay, so we're not going to be using the top of the pencil because that's good for detail work. We're going to be using the side and it's easier if you hold the pencil over like that so that you can get a nice smooth shading okay the shading is all about different applying different pressure to the pencil so first off before we do any drawing I thought we'd practice now if you start pressing quite hard like this you get a dark mark so practice Pressing as hard as you can and then gradually getting lighter and try not to get any lines in between where you've gone from a darker to a lighter shade. Sometimes this takes a little bit of practice. Okay, but we gradually get lighter and lighter. Until we get to nothing. Okay, so practice that. You can also try going from light to dark. In the same way, just altering how much you push on the pencil. Right, so now when we've done that, have a little practice, we're going to go on and draw a picture. So I thought we'd draw round something round, just like this. This is just a cap of a spray can, so you've got a nice circle. And to start with, we're going to draw a little line like this, across the top. So at the moment it's just a flat 2D shape. So if we just shade the whole colour, or the whole shape, one colour, like that, we'll get an even looking circle. To save time, I've done one over here. So at the moment, it's just an even circle, and we're going to make it into an apple, as you can probably guess from the little mark I've drawn there and the stalk. So with any shading, um, it's a good idea to start off with a base colour, and there's nothing wrong with that apple, it just looks a bit flat. So to make it look a bit rounder and a bit more interesting, we can first introduce some light areas. So I'm going to get a rubber and just apply it onto the top to give it a bit of light. And it depends on where the light is and you can use an actual apple if you want to. I'm going to do it through a bit of guesswork. Okay, so straight away you can see that we've got a bit of reflection on it. And imagine the light's probably coming from the top here. All right, so once you've got a bit of light in, we can start using our uh, pencil to apply some dark areas. All right, so if the light's coming from this angle up here, we're gonna see some darker areas on the bottom of our apple. And we're just gonna put those in. And you'll see very quickly, it starts to look more like a 3D object instead of just a flat 2D object. So we put a bit of dark in there, like that. And to highlight the lighter areas where we've rubbed out, we can put a bit of dark there. Now an important thing to try and remember when you're drawing a round object is not to do lines across or down like that because an apple is roundish. So if you do your shading and follow the shape of the apple, it'll look more realistic. And again, it might take a bit of practice, but it's very effective once you've learned how. And at the top here, the apple kind of goes in where the stalk is, and that's an area that will be dark. Okay. 
So again, just following the shape of the apple. Like that. And start to see it take shape. So we've got a bit of shade in there. I think we still need to go in and vary it a little bit more. Now one sneaky tip I have got for shading is to blend it to make it look a bit smoother I use my finger. Now make sure that your fingers or hands are nice and clean if you're going to do this because your hands will have oils on them which can leave a mark on the paper if you're not careful so make sure you've got nice clean hands if you're going to do this. Okay, watch this. A little bit of pressure with your finger and just rub it over the pencil marks there. And watch it blend in. It's clever, huh? You do lose a little bit of the white you put in, but you can easily pick that back out at the end. Well, as you go. starts to look a little bit more even in tone. Okay, so then when you've done a little bit of blending like that, you can go in with your pencil again and maybe hold it a little bit closer to the end because you want to apply a little bit more pressure and do a little bit more detail. I suggest round by the top of the apple. Like that. And gradually we'll build up a variety of shades to make it look pretty realistic. So there we are, it's a little bit darker around the outside where the light is not hitting the bottom of the apple. It's a little bit lighter on the top. And there's just one other thing that I would suggest if you're drawing shadow, 
is to put the shadow of the apple just underneath and that will give it a little bit of Blend that in with your finger as well. So it's looking good. How's your doing? Alright, so we're getting it. I think, last of all, we're just going to put back in with a rubber. This is a really fine rubber. It's one of my favourites. It's a mono zero. Just so that you can do a really good um, detail. whole range where we practiced at the beginning going from light to dark and that's the great thing about pencil it's not just one colour is it you can make a whole range of colours just by changing how hard you press down on the lid You can spend as much time on your like as it actually. I won't spend too much time because you'll probably want to have a go yourself. That's a few hints and tips on how to make a 2D object look 3D. Okay, so my top tips would be start out light, then do a little bit of erasing to put in the reflection areas and then use your pencil on the side to shade in a variety of different shades going from the ones we started at, the light ones, going right range up to the dark areas. I hope yours has worked well and you have tried. Try. Oh, fun trying. <laughs> so Art Cadets, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial on shading and if you have don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel and join us next Friday when we'll be doing some movement in our drawings. And all you'll need for that is a pen or pencil and some paper. So hopefully we'll see you then. Bye.